to this year, it was all about Long Fang. That trade is coming unwound. Yeah. Um, and it's a very mixed market right now. If you look at year-to-date performance, if you look at the last month performance, it's a really mixed bag. The NASDAQ is still up. The S&P 500 is down. Financials were doing well for a while. Then they took a little bit took a, uh, a little bit of a hit on the chin. Um, so I think it's a mixed bag. It's good for active managers like us. We can pick stocks. Just have it. So we're going to talk the shop a little bit. Last couple of years. Well, look, the last couple of years, it's been a tough couple of years for us, right? Volatility has been low. Dispersion has been low. Um, passive flows have increased exponentially. I'm not saying they're going away, but yeah. this is a good environment if you're an active manager where you can pick the right stocks. Um, you know, we're seeing the dispersion we're seeing right now. Mark Collins, you have this great position at Credit Suisse where you get to look across all these hedge funds and basically try and look at how active they actually are. How active are people in the first three, four months of the year? The, uh, the activity's been again. Okay, it's April 5th, 2018, 9-11 a.m. Um, taking pictures from 255 West 43rd Street, looking direction north and west about 20, 30 degrees at the twin smokestacks belonging to John's Pizzeria. Their um, restaurant entrance for the public is located at 260 West 44th Street in Manhattan. Okay, I have to make this brief. Um, it's a very sunny morning. Why well, it's a little hard to see the smoke, but it's it's there. Um, the sunlight kind of it's it's you can see it when it's a little overcast. You can see the smoke better for um, photographic reasons, but. Um, I need, I have to take, use the bathroom, it's really cold this morning, I need to shut this window, and the smell is terrible, so there's two reasons, um, so let's zoom out, look at the Bloomberg time date, the time date uh, confirmation. Drapes, printer, uh, 
We're about 15 minutes away from the opening bell in the beautiful New York City with futures positive 13 on the S&P 500, up a half of a 1%. We did get some news from JP Morgan, the CEO, releasing his annual letter to shareholders this morning. Jamie Dimon laying out plans to expand the bank's business in asset management and investment, corporate and consumer banking, and writing, quote, we see growth opportunities even in fixed income, currencies and commodities where we already have the number one market share. Joining us now on the phone is Gerard Cass to the RBC Capital Markets Managing Director. He's got an outperforming $120 price target on JP Morgan. Mark Connors of Credit Suisse and John Mackay of Schroders are still with me. Gerard, I'll go through this letter and there's kind of three separate themes to it. One of them is just growth and market share, market share and growth. Can they really grow in everything everywhere? I would say that they have a very strong focus on organic growth. As you know, and he points it out in his letter, the consolidation of the industry has been dramatic for 30 years. But because of their size, they cannot acquire anyone. So the entire focus now for them and a few of the other large banks, such as Bank America and Wells Fargo, as well as Citi, is on organic growth. And so this company has been very focused on organic growth for a number of years, and we do think they're going to succeed at growing their business uh, throughout the United States and around the world in these different business lines that he mentioned. Gerard, when someone says they're going to grow in FIC, does that mean they're going to take more market share? Because I don't know how many people are optimistic about FIC growing in a, in a, in a material way anytime soon. I, I think you put your thumb on it. It's definitely about market share. Uh, the letter points out that the margins in the business have steadily declined for about 30 years, and the way to offset that is to grow your market share. And because the business is not a rapidly growing business, and because 